Hey folks, here we are with another match in the Object 430. Once again, solo pubbing. Uh, my usual platoon mates weren't around at the time I played this match. And I've ended up on the west spawn of Highway. Now, I really am not a big fan of this map. Um, but in a medium tank, you do at least have some ground to work with. I decide to head up the 1 and 2 lines like I normally do in mediums on the west side. Uh, and our Waffentrager, or at least one of the Waffentragers, says he will cover it. Well, that's good to hear, I suppose. We'll see how well he covers it. Looks like we've got a decent amount of tanks that are heading towards city. Um, perhaps a few too many coming north, but as long as we push aggressively and stop the enemy from taking advantage of the houses up there, we should be fine. Unfortunately, a lot of our tank destroyers are posting up in base, they're not actually moving across the river, which is not a good move. Uh, from there, they don't have render range to really do anything at all to tanks in city. It's a useless position. Unfortunately, most puppies don't understand how render range works, and so they take stupid positions they can't do anything from. Now, here I decide I will run all the way up to the houses, try and take control of them before the enemy can. Unfortunately, if you look at the minimap, you can see an immediate problem, which is that none of my teammates at all, not a single one, have followed me. Um, I get a little too aggressive there, and the T-49 gets a shot in. Thankfully, not a big one. And the Object 430's armor picks up the slack. Bulldog does rush in, and the 5041 comes in to help as well, but look at all that shit still down past the D-line. The vast majority of our team has not made any effort at all to push up. Now, the T-49 takes care of the Bulldog. There's not much that could have been done there. And the 5041 is pushed out of cover where he's going to get hit. He'd been trying to use one of the destructible houses as cover. The Bat Chat's the biggest threat here. Uh, I push a little too far out and risk taking a hit from the left side which I do, although it looks like it's a bounce. In fact, the Object 430's armor is really doing a lot of work here. I'm, however, now in a terrible position. Um, the 1390 rushes in to try and relieve some pressure, but it's too little too late. I'm being pushed on by a lot of tanks all at once. But once again, the 430's armor and the 5041's wreck in front of me are really doing some great work here. The E75 could potentially fuck me up. Uh, thankfully, our Arty, I think that was ours, takes out his cover, and so I'm able to finish him off before he can get a shot at me. Now, if I can just deal with these mediums, I might actually have a chance. T49's a very dangerous threat. Uh, if it hits me in the side, but he actually isn't looking at me. So I'm actually uh, wasting time trying to engage him, and because my turret's turned sideways, the 53-55 puts a shell straight into it and fucks me up. I neglected to factor in the enemy arty, uh, unfortunately, and that was what ended up costing me very dearly here. Although I was in cover from the enemy mediums, I'm not in cover to the enemy arty. In fact, he's got pretty much a straight shot into my side. Uh, he's somewhere in front of me there. You can see I pull back to try and get away from the arty, but in the process, expose myself to the Hunter 2. And although I'm able to scare him away for a moment, the STA begins pushing. My shot misses. In fact, the 5041's gun eats it. Uh, I go to clean up the Hunter 2, and right as I miss my shot, the enemy 5355 once again lands a shell on me, and that's the end of my tank. 3000 damage, um, which isn't huge, but it's pretty decent considering the situation I was in. Um, I was holding off a lot of tanks there basically by myself. And, well, I guess you can see how much damage my tank blocked in the post games, but it felt like a lot, uh, the, especially early on the 430's armor was really, really doing some brilliant work which is one of the reasons I love it. Unfortunately, just there was no support there. You can see the tank destroyers weren't engaging, and as soon as my tank went down, they just started running south, uh, which let the enemy kill them by shooting them in the backs. So it was really, really poor play on their part. 
I'm going to hit the time acceleration here because I don't want to force you guys through watching these geniuses sit here and camp and uh, get their shit pushed in. Always someone else's fault, right, says the B4. Well, actually, yes. Uh, in fact, it was specifically his fault that I got killed because he fired his gun five times from memory and did zero damage. Uh, similarly, one of the Waffentrager E100s, zero damage. Two tier 10 TDs with that many targets lit in the open. Easy fucking range. There's no way you could miss at that range. And they failed to do a single point of damage. And this is what I've been talking about with high risk, high reward positions. Running up to the houses like that is a big risk. But if you can pull it off, if you have even the smallest amount of support to do it, you can really make it work. Imagine if Arati had been focusing those targets, or if even one of those tank destroyers had been paying attention. With me spotting targets for them and keeping them out of cover, and remembering that they were trying to take cover from me, not from my teammates who weren't shooting at them, they would have side shots into all of those. Those mediums would have been deleted so quickly by our tank destroyers, it wouldn't even be funny. But because they were too busy doing I don't even know what, uh, sitting around with their dicks in their hands, I suppose, or trying to shoot light tanks from across the fucking map, um, I ended up going down, they ended up not getting any damaging shots in, and we ended up losing the game. Now, the fight wasn't really going well anywhere, obviously, we lost on the west flank, we lost in the east flank in the city, but... If our team had actually been doing anything at all in the West, we might have been able to push that through, get rid of the immediate threat there, and then go back to clean up the East. That's the thing. Um, even though a game might not be going so well, if you can get enough overwhelming force or enough aggression on one flank to actually clean it up, the enemy won't push it. Uh, they'll be hesitant to push it. They'll be afraid. They'll realize you just kick the shit out of them there, and they'll probably think, oh shit, we better pull back. We better push somewhere else. And it gives you the time to flex out and go and stop wherever they're breaking through elsewhere, particularly in a, a fast medium like the 430. But that can only happen if your team don't use you as bait, uh, if your team actually shoot targets that you're lighting for them, and if you have some kind of support. If you rush into a good position, it could be the best position in the world, but if you have no support, it's basically suicide. And unfortunately, a lot of the time, um, the really good positions, you don't know until it's too late. Like, I was... I was halfway across that field. I was about B1 before I realized that my team were not going to follow me. And once you're that far committed, uh, you can't stop. You can't turn around. You're, you're in. You're committed. You have to go through with it and just hope for the best. Um, and, and really, at that point, it becomes a case of how much support you actually have. If you don't have any, you're going to go down with a fight, obviously. A hell of a fight if you're in a good spot. But at the end of the day, you can't swing the match. Um, if you do have some support, then yeah, you have a really good chance. So, usually I, I tend to reserve the sort of high-risk stuff for solo pubbing. Um, with a platoon, you don't need to do it as much. Sometimes we do, uh, like with the, the uh, Ruinberg one-line strat. But a lot of the time when you're in a platoon, you can afford to play a bit more steadily because you know you have at least two other people on your team you can rely on. Um, and so you can you can pace yourself a bit more, um, and you can just play it out a bit slower and play for attrition. Whereas when you're solo pubbing, as far as you know, unless there's somebody on your team you recognize, it's 1 verse 29. Uh, and so you have to do the most influential thing you can as quickly as you can. And then just hope that the, the numbers work out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you the best of luck in the field, and as ever, I will see you on the next one.